Hi, Jim Van Zandt, one of the pastors here at Carlisle United Methodist Church with Sermon in Three Minutes. Thanks for tuning in today. Suppose me, as a parent, decided to give my children every Saturday morning an envelope with their name on it and a crisp $10 bill in that envelope. I gave it to them every Saturday morning without fail, without any explanation, no commentary whatsoever. They just found the envelope every Saturday morning outside their bedroom door. Suppose I did that for months on end until some random Saturday morning they don't find an envelope outside their bedroom door. How long do you think it would be before one of my children came to me and said, hey, where's my $10? Have you ever been that way with God? That's the question I asked the congregation this past Sunday here at CUMC. Have you ever been that way with God? Knowing that all that we have in art comes from God in the first place, we didn't ask for this, he just blesses us. And yet, have we ever been that way with God to the point that we not only become to expect his blessing, but we become complacent about it. And that complacency has led us to thinking it's not necessary anymore even to give thanks for something we didn't ask for in the first place. You know, there's a story in the Bible of Jesus feeding the 5,000. It's the only miracle story recorded in all four of the Gospels. And yet none of the Gospels record any person coming up after the miracle and thanking Jesus for their feeding. No, in fact, they record something much different than that. The crowd pressed into him so great he had to retreat to the shoreline of the lake and eventually onto the boat, people looking for their own personal miracle. I think that the scriptures say that Jesus had to retreat to the other side of the lake to pray. And what I think Jesus had to pray about was his own personal disappointment of the incredible selfishness of the people. Despite seeing this marvelous miracle, they were more interested in what he could do for them personally. I hope you're not that way, and I certainly, I don't want to be that way, but I know many times in my life I do reflect that, and I need to think about that, particularly now in this season of Thanksgiving. We're going to have an opportunity on Thursday to thank God for the gifts in our lives. It's, of course, we understand not just something we should do on, on thir Thursday, on a Thanksgiving day, but every day to develop that attitude of gratitude. Everything that we have in our comes from God. Be sure to thank God every day of your life. Thanks for tuning in Sermon in Three Minutes.